What's going on everyone? Max Power Baseball here, back with another video. Hope everybody's doing well and your year's off to a great start. I know I'm a few weeks late doing this, but I had some construction done in my office to add some better lighting and also install some doors here. So now that that's done, I can get back to making videos a bit more regularly. I also did get a new phone and a tripod with a ring light that I'm using right now for this video, so hopefully that improves the picture quality as well. All right, so this video will cover the progress on my Will Clark Super Collection. At the start of 2021, I had 1,556 unique Will Clark cards. And at the close of the year, I ended up at 1,853, which is an addition of 297 new cards. To break it down further, 73 of those were from 2021 products. So I did fill in a lot of gaps with cards from past years. And I also did check off a few that were high up on my want list. While most of the cards I added were eBay purchases and several from COMC, I did get some at card shows and LCSs. But I also made a few private deals on Facebook and blowout forums. So really happy with the progress I made last year. Then, in the first couple weeks of this year, I've already made some larger deals with other collectors that included some big cards, so we'll do a future video detailing those when it all comes in and I have a chance to sort through it. But as I'm less than 150 away, I don't anticipate any trouble getting to the 2,000 unique card milestone during 2022, especially since Clark is likely to be in many of the new products from both Topps and Panini just as he was last year. Now, on to the countdown of the top 10 cards I added to my Will Clark Super Collection in 2021. At number 10 is 1998 Pinnacle Artist Proof. This features a gold circle dufex finish and an artist proof stamp on the front. Stated odds are one in 39 packs. This card wasn't that expensive, but I really like it and happy to add it to the collection. At number nine is the 2021 Topps Clearly Authentic Rainbow. I have the base, which is unnumbered, the black, which is out of 75, the red, which is out of 50. The blue, out of 25. And the orange, which I picked up at the National. And this one's out of 5. I am still missing the purple out of 10 and green out of 99. This is a clear acetate card and uses the 1986 design, which is Will's rookie year. Clearly Authentic has been one of my favorite releases each of the last few years. There's more colored parallels this year because of course, Tops is gonna Tops. Next up at number eight is the 2003 Donruss Signature Series Team Trademarks Decade Notations Autograph. This has a 89 World Series inscription, and it's numbered out of 10. While I have over 100 Will Clark autographs, which I did a showcase of in my last video, I don't have that many that have inscriptions. This is a nice one noting the 1989 Bay Bridge World Series, where Game 3 was interrupted by an earthquake. Unfortunately, the Giants lost that World Series to the Oakland A's, and it would be Will's only trip to the World Series in his career. At number seven is the 1998 Bowman Chrome International Refractor. This is a parallel to the base Bowman Chrome card and features a map of Will's hometown of New Orleans, and is the refractor version of that. The card is unnumbered, but has pack odds of one in 24.
At number six is a 1993 Pinnacle Cooperstown Dufex. This is one of the few cool 90s cards that has Will in a Giants uniform, since 93 was his last year on the team before signing with the Rangers. This is a special Dufex version of the Cooperstown set that was only distributed to attendees of the 1993 Sports Collectibles Association International Conference in Dallas. The print run of these is 1,000 Dufex sets. So it's pretty rare for an early 90s card. At number five is the 2021 Topps Finest Flashback, an online exclusive product. It's much more expensive than the 2020 release. It uses the design of the 1994 Finest set. In the 2021 product, 20 veteran players from the 90s were included as short prints for the last 20 cards of the checklist. This is the base card, which has odds of 1 in 18 packs. The silver refractor, which had the same odds. And the gold refractor, numbered out of 50 which are one out of 176 packs. There is also a prism and black and red and a super fractor, which I'm still looking for. In the original 1994 release, Will's in his Rangers uniform, so it's cool to see this in his Giants uni. At number four is the 2001 Topps Gold. Numbered out of 2001, this is the first year of Topps Gold, which is numbered to the year they were released, which continues to this day. The gold foil here is much nicer than on any newer product, but is also very condition sensitive, and one of only a few products that features Will in a Cardinals uniform. Near the trade deadline in the 2000 season, Will was traded from the Baltimore Orioles to the St. Louis Cardinals after Mark McGuire got injured. Will had an incredible two and a half month run in St. Louis, batting 345, hitting 12 home runs, and 42 RBIs in just 197 plate appearances, and helped the Cards get to the second round of the playoffs. Rather than come back as a platoon player, switch positions, or enter free agency, Will retired at the age of 36 after the 2000 season. At number three is the 1999 Fleer Brilliance Gold. This is a higher end set from the late 90s. This is a gold parallel to the base card, numbered to 99. It's got a gold mirror finish to the card. Will's in his Orioles uniform here on this card. There's also an even more rare parallel version of these in the 24 karat gold, which those are numbered out of 24. And number two is the 1996 Pinnacle Skylines. Part of a very popular 18 card insert set featuring a clear acetate cardstock with a rainbow hollow foil bar at the top, a player portrait, and a skyline of the player's team city. These are unnumbered, but pack odds are at 1 out of 50 jumbo packs and 1 out of 29 super packs of Series 2. This is one of my favorite cards, and I'm really happy to add this to the collection. And finally, to the top Will Clark edition in 2021. This was the number one card on my want list for a while. From the first year of Topps Finest, which were the first super premium chromium card stocks and the first refractor products, this is a 1993 Finest Refractor. Pack odds on these were about 1 out of 15 packs, 
which is about one per box. They're not numbered, but estimated print run is only 241. I'd been looking for this one for a while and had been outbid a time or two, so really happy to land this one. I wanted to get a graded copy since these are extremely condition sensitive and the centering on the product in general isn't great, plus they're prone to get surface scratches. The total population graded by PSA is 118, so that's almost half the print run, though it probably is inflated due to people cracking and resubmitting. The pop report has 21 tens and 56 nines. This is a nine, which I'm completely happy with. And it looks amazing. So there you have it, my top 10 additions to my Will Clark Super Collection in 2021. With 297 cards added over the year, I did get a bunch of great ones that didn't crack the top 10, so it was hard to narrow it down. Thanks for watching. In the comments, let me know what your favorite was. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And keep on collecting.